October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and one week ago today, 19-year-old Gilbert Newton III was convicted of killing his ex-girlfriend, 18-year-old Morgan McCaffrey. Now, in an interview that you will only see here on CBS3, her mother is hoping to shine a light on toxic relationships and save young women from her daughter's fate. Alicia Roberts is live with that very powerful conversation. Alicia? Jessica, the reality is right this moment, someone you know is likely in a toxic relationship. She was probably the last person you would expect that this to happen to. Kathy McCaffrey comes to the gazebo outside Nazareth Academy to be close to her daughter Morgan, the class of 2020 graduate, college bound ball of energy whose smile could light up any room. She enjoyed life and um, was a really happy. Um, young girl. Last summer, Morgan was enjoying time with friends and her new puppy, having recently ended a turbulent year long relationship. I was noticing a lot of breaking up, getting back, breaking up, getting back. While Morgan's mother says she only recently learned the full extent of the abuse her daughter endured, she says Morgan did share some instances of insulting text messages, threats, and even physical abuse. And a lot of times they're very protective of their abuser yeah. because they don't want people to know. Kathy says about a month after Morgan and her ex split, he contacted Morgan asking to meet up, saying he was struggling and wanted to talk. I think the guilt is what led her to meet with him. That decision proved fatal. When police found Morgan's lifeless body in a secluded parking lot, she had been stabbed more than 30 times. I still wake up and I will say, how did it happen? Across the U.S., one in three women between the ages of 18 and 24 are victims of physical, emotional, or verbal abuse from their dating partner. It's very difficult to admit that you let somebody else control you in this matter and put you down and hurt you. In the years since Morgan's death, her family and friends have created Morgan's Light, a nonprofit working to raise awareness about toxic teen relationships. They do not realize they are the victim. They hope Morgan's Light will shine on someone who needs to hear this message. If we don't start talking about it, it is never going to get better. And talking about it, the number one thing we all can do. And for more information on Morgan's Light, visit our website, cbsphilly.com. Reporting live in the Northeast, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you.